Jeff just released a new song called Motto. I had to check my schedule first to make sure I could accommodate this drop. And, um... I guess I could squeeze it in. And after listening to this song several times, I've come to the decided conclusion that motto is... Okay, it's fine, it exists. So let's take some time to explain how I've come down to this conclusion. But be warned, NF fans! I am your worst nightmare. You see, when it comes to criticism of NF, the only thing you can handle are blind haters of NF and those who don't know anything about NF, of which I am neither. Not only am I not a blind hater of NF, as I enjoy a lot of what he does, I'm also very well versed in his catalog. In fact, my my favorite part of this video was the very end when his original fanboy from When I Grow Up made a cameo appearance. That's right, everybody. I'm knowledgeable on the ways of Nate. Furthermore, I run several successful businesses around music and other ventures that I enjoy. I work for myself and myself only and have become pretty successful. Oh yes, all of your powers are useless here. What I bring to you is the greatest nightmare known by the NF fandom. Balanced, fair, and realistic criticism of NF. I'm not Anthony Fantano, who is somehow a respected voice in the music critic world while knowing pretty much nothing about music. No, I am a beast much worse. Tremble before me! <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about Motto. Starting with the thing that NF fans care about the most, the lyrics. Lyrically, it exists. We're not breaking any new ground here. Not only is this a concept and set of lyrics that we've heard from NF before, but we've heard it from a lot of artists. The classic, I do this my way, and everybody said I wouldn't be able to make it, but haha, -ha, here I am, and I'm gonna keep doing it my way. Those darn award shows and people, they don't understand. Parents just don't understand, am I right? Now to be clear, there's nothing wrong with songs of this style. In the right mood, they're quite enjoyable. And the entire lyrical content of this wouldn't even be notable to talk about, except for the fact that NF fans seem to think that everything NF says is as pure and holy as the word of God that NF says he followed. Me, personally, I've enjoyed it more back in the day when Eminem would go after award shows and talk about Britney Spears <laughs> just had more bite to it and felt more fun than pretending to say <laughs> but cutting yourself off I don't really give a but it's not like these kind of songs have to have an obscene edge to them. In fact, I'd say the best version of any of these type of songs was made years and years ago when Frank Sinatra did it, but he didn't just strictly attach it to music or his own creation of music. And he made it a song about viewing yourself as a man in general by making your own path and doing things against the grain in one of the greatest songs of all time, My Way. All that to say, it's fine. For this style of song, it is written very competently and has plenty of fan service sprinkled throughout. And the notion of, well, it's fine, is gonna be a recurring theme with this song. Now, before we get to the thing that I care about most, which is how this song actually sounds, which I know a lot of people think is a crazy thing to harp on, because in my last videos, when all I've talked about is the sound, everyone tells me to talk about the lyrics and crap. I'm sorry, I'm listening to music. I care how it sounds, sue me. But before we get to the sound, let's talk about the video, since Nate's always trying to make cinematic masterpieces Pieces. This one kind of emulates the people he's making fun of. A mock award show, shot in a way you would shoot one of these music videos for another artist, wearing the white hoodie instead of the black hoodie, showing his evolution as an artist, coming to terms with where he is in the music world, and the little callback to When I Grow Up that I mentioned earlier, plus some other stuff. As far as NF music videos go, it was fine. A little below average, probably. But that's just because Nate set that bar really, really high. Side note, this song loops really well. Feels like it was made as a TikTok because if you have it on repeat one, it's almost like a seamless loop, which is both a good and a bad thing. So let's let's talk about the song. Now on NF's Hope, my biggest complaint about the music, the song structure, etc., was it was just too much of what NF always does. There's a difference between having a niche and a set style and just being repetitive. And while I had defended NF in the past as not being repetitive, Hope felt like he was really testing my patience with that. And I decided, okay, you're being repetitive now, Nate. And my hope for Hope 
as an album was that this would be a transition into newer, different style. Motto is kind of that. It's enough different from what NF usually does that if it wasn't for it being NF and if it was any other artist, it would clearly just be on brand and not repetitive. So rather than holding NF against himself, I'll just say, yeah, this is fine. This is different enough to not feel super repetitive. But as I stated in some other videos that I've made that you can check out here, different doesn't necessarily mean good. And in this situation, different doesn't mean good, nor does it mean bad. It means what I keep saying. Fine. After listening to the song six or seven times at least, I didn't find myself wanting to gouge out my eardrums, but I found myself very apathetically uninterested in the song and struggling to even hear it, which was kind of when I realized that the song looped so well because I had forgotten how many times it had played because it just sounded like a continuous song. And the only concern this gives me is when you release singles for an album ahead of the album, you're trying to highlight the best parts of that album. And if these are the best parts of this new album, oh god, I'm very curious to hear this whole album in context and see if it all works. But right now you have hope, which is painfully too much of the same thing from NF. And now you have motto, which isn't painfully too much of the same thing, but also it's just there. There's no reason for me to care about it unless I just really like sucking and everything he says is great to me. Because beyond that, I mean, it's fine, it's not bad, and with most artists, none of that would be worthy of note. But NF has a very passionate fan base that seems to think that everything NF does is amazing, which makes this song even more confusing in context as to what the heck NF fans hear compared to the rest of the world. But I'm sure this comment section will be super Christian and enlightening and lead to many more NF videos to come in the future. And while you're waiting for that, you can check out my music since most of the NF fans have departed this video video by now. And before you say anything about my music compared to NF's, watch this video so that you don't say something silly sounding. And until next time, I scheme, you scheme, we all scheme for ice cream. Bye! I did it my way.